Okay, welcome everybody. We're playing Dead Secret. Oh, I wonder what the secret is. Go. Oh. Okay. Do you want to see if you can turn the music down or off? Or, oh, nope. Invert, nope. Controller. That's it. Those are the options. Uh, oh. Spooky bird. So, um, yeah, I pressed W and that made me look down. Yeah, and D makes you look up. Oh, wait, this okay. this is a VR game. Right, uh, invert axis. Oh, fuck. That does the mouse as well. Okay, sure. Right. <laughs> Fucking windows. Fuck! Stop! Right, bam. Dead secret. Are you ready to find out the secret? Yeah, let's see. Let's, let's, let's give it a shot. Uh. Oh. Oh, you're moving. Oh. Okay. September 25th. Bullard was found dead in his study five days ago. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. <gasps> this house in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. Ooh, okay. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, Cynthia Peckman, Bobby Sawyer. I'm not leaving until I find out what happened. Oh, so, a mirror! Is there a working, an actual working mirror in a game? Oh my god. Oh, my arm's in a sling. Okay, right. Oh. Uh. That doesn't look good. This is it, the crime scene. All oh, right, in and out. Easy. Are you doing a girl voice? This is my girl voice. Yeah, when we do role playing, I'm very limited. It's why I don't use a lot of female characters, because my voice doesn't have a lot of range. No. <laughs> Unless they're going to be really gruff. Then All right, in and out. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> a small parcel tied tightly with twine. I can't open it with my bare hands. Is it because you broke your arm? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's missing its knob. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Nice, a key, okay. Oh, well that was... Investigate the crime scene. Okay. Reclusive prof found dead in home. Gove, Kansas, I guess. Harris Bullard. A retired college teacher was found dead in his home Monday. The body was discovered by Bobby Sawyer, who worked part-time for the Bullards running odd jobs. A police investigation has concluded that Bullard died of natural causes. He was 63. Bullard moved into his home on Rumpo... Rampo Way! Rampo Way! Several years ago. But was rarely seen about town. He was a private and reclusive man who seemed to have few friends. Bullard raised eyebrows last year when a former student, a pretty young woman known Josie Herrera... Moved in with him. Oh, I just heard a noise behind me. It scared me. <laughs> Bullard's will, oh. written in 1957, leaves an entire estate to his ex-wife, Cynthia oh. Peckman. It's 1965. I, did, I didn't quite get that, that, that. Oh. So do I need to get, like, a more old-timey accent? No, no, that's fine. I mean, how old-timey is the 60s, really? Hey, man. Keep it groovy. That's a bit too 60s. What's the matter? So who was this guy? Oh, Harris was a genius in his discipline, said Graham Wellington, a former colleague. The field of neuroscience is considerably poorer without him. So that's oh. what he did. And So he was researching. Oh. Har Harris Bullard, a retired recluse, found dead in his study. Police ruled death natural. <laughs> He died of a natural seven bullets to the back of the head. <laughs> Bobby Sawyer ran errands for Bullard, found the body. Oh, my God. I'm already really getting into this. Uh, okay. Bullard's live-in assistant. Oh, Josie Herrera. Herrera. Uh, Cynthia Peckman. She looks evil, but she's probably got a heart <laughs> of gold. Uh, Ex-wife, uh, inheritor of Bullard's estate. George Wellington, Don't former colleague. Shit about him, yeah. It's him. He's the guy. The thing is poorer without him, rival, bam, definitely. But that was a compliment, you know, he's making a compliment. Definitely him. 
Oh, it's blocking the way. Oh, uh, sack truck. I can't lift this stuff with oh, one arm, even no. using the truck. Shit. Well, I forgot about my gammy arm. Okay. Well. What's that noise? I don't know. Was the drawers closing? Oh yeah. Don't leave. You gotta go in the crime scene or or that door there. Wait, this isn't the crime scene. <laughs> so what's the deal with all this? Are they um? Is it like warning tape? Are they like the wards? You know, um, like uh, hopping vampires. Okay, is this like a, a weird Japanese ghost thing? Yeah, but they have like the ticket on their head to like uh, put them put them to sleep. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> God, one. that was a bit. Okay, I can't be jump. I mean, oh. Is it raining? And there's definitely something under there. Yeah, there is. <coughs> is that your shoulder? <coughs> I'm trying to like... The music is a bit weird. Oh, do you see that? The spin. I managed to get my head all the way around. <laughs> Don't break the fucking game, come on. Right. Oh, a page from a manuscript. Oh. The man who could see with his skin. In 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandages, yet he remained aware of the room around him. We held up signs, which he read. That is loud. There we go. <laughs> um, and fingers, which he counted. Even when we stood behind him. After the performance, we gave him $200 for the secret $200? man. $200? In 1926 is fucking a lot of money. Jesus Christ. Um... He explains that he could see as long as some parts of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind or a slight breeze on his face, the subtle motion of the hair on his arm. After years of focus and practice, he developed the ability to form <laughs> a mental... I thought there was only one page, um, but apparently we found two pages. Yeah, they were... Together. Oh, right, okay. Uh, the man had achieved a form of idiofocus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I immediately resolved to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four decades later, I'm very close. Okay. That's a lot of edging. Uh, newspaper clipping here. <laughs> it reads, Eyeless Joe, found dead in hotel. Weird. Well, is that his name? That is a bit weird. Eyeless Joe. It's, uh... <laughs> hey, it's Eyeless Joe. It's funny, because he's got no eyes. What's that painting on the wall there? No, not the... the <laughs> not the lamp. <laughs> a picture of a woman. She looks lonely. Oh. Um, something about this painting makes me very uncomfortable. It's bleak. Oh. Very bleak. So what was the deal with that? Oh. It doesn't turn on. Guess it's broken. What's in that cupboard? What's that there? We can see it. It's a book. Oh. What is this? Oh, it looks like no. a tiny Don't tell me you can look through the lens. Boom. Can I... Can I get closer? This room is a regular library. Some of these volumes look ancient. It's all covered in dust. Okay. One of Bullard's diplomas. Okay. Well, I guess we should look at this. This is where Bobby Sawyer found Bullard's body. He's been dead for a couple of no, days. No, he'd been dead. So when he found the body, he'd been dead for a couple of days. Oh. Oh, these masks are a bit... Really fucking sinister. I think I've seen masks like this before. Maybe they're Japanese. Yeah, I oh, think man, so. I really don't like those. This one, fucking awesome. Hey, hello. Bullet had some pretty advanced degrees. This one's from the University of Chicago, 1935. Boy, I'd love to visit <laughs> Chicago. Oh, one day maybe, if we make it through this. Oh man, I love opening drawers. You do, don't you? Oh, another lens. It's another lens. I found two of them now. Oh. 
That delay. It comes up like a little bit later. A pair of scissors. I can use these to open the package in the other room. Oh. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Oh. Harris Bullard, I am Woodcutter. Your pest has caught up with you. It is over. Oh, did he kill um, Johnny No Eyes? Blind Jim. Who killed him? What, the woodcutter killed him? Frankie No Peeps. Oh. Woodcutter threatening Bullard. It's a note with a foreign symbol on it. Underneath it reads North. Oh, a typewriter. Hello. Something's typed out on here, but the paper's so far into the feeder that I can't pull it out. Can I just, like, hit some keys until... Oh, there's a document stuck in the typewriter. I can't pull it out without tearing it. It's really stuck in there. Guess I have to roll it back. Okay, do that then. Roll it. There we go. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, ooh, writing about Ouija boards. Writing about Luigi boards. Luigi. Wega boards. Have you seen that video? <laughs> Wega boards? <laughs> The Luigi board? Making a Luigi board? Have you played the Luigi board? It's amazing. Don't get distracted, we're doing uh, a mystery, a murder mystery. Sorry, writing about Ouija boards in 1852, William Benjamin Carpenter was first to describe the phenomenon known as the idiometer effect. The idiomotor effect. The idiomotor effect occurs when the subconscious mind takes control of the body without the conscious mind realizing it. Idiomotor action is distinct from other forms of involuntary action because responses are driven by existing knowledge and perception. The Ouija board, nice. Carpenter suggests, is a clear manifestation. The participants unwittingly move the planchette because their subconscious mind is guiding them. Another example of this phenomenon is dowsing, the practice of using a divining rod. Div divining. Divining rod. To locate water and other materials buried underground. The dowser holds the instrument with both hands. Yeah, we know how that works. Yeah. The dowser's subconscious mind is the, the, the stick. It's the fucking stick and you get the magic water. Uh, the dowser's subconscious mind is highly susceptive. So it's sensitive and able to recognize cues in the environment of which his conscious mind is not aware. Uh, when these cues hint at the location of water, the subconscious mind takes control of the dowser's hand and causes him to rotate the rod to the ground. See, I, I believe this is, is a way of, of dowsing working. This, yeah, but like I'd never thought about it, but there's a logic here. My research seeks direct access to knowledge stored in the subconscious mind, complete unfiltered linkage between the sensitive unconscious and the logical conscious. I call this state idiofocus. It's only September, but today it's cold and dark. Fall is here. I guess. Hmm. Okay. More reading. Joe, something's after me. It's creeping around the house trying to get in. I'm sure of it. I heard footsteps outside and creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken the idiofocal lenses from the normal location and hidden them in my study. I've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, X marks the spot. Oh. Do they do this all the time? Oh, I went and picked up those eggs for you, but I've hidden them. X marks the spot. Eggs marks the Eggs, nice. Uh, Harris, P.S. The sequence west, east, north. So do we... Oh, blood hid something in this room. Very suspicious. Uh, this will be a great hook for my opening paragraph. So are you a journalist? Ah. I guess that's why you're here. Oh, my God. More reads... Dictionaries and language references. A uh, lot of these books aren't even in English. <laughs> uh, well, Heavens to Betsy. The Snow Woman. Okay, you can you can read read the Snow Woman. Adapted from an original translation by La Lafcadio Hearn. L Lafcadio. An old man and his son climbed the mountain to collect firewood. It began to snow heavily. And unable to make it back home, they decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man awoke to see that the door had blown open. Oh no. A tall woman with... Oh my god, the lonely woman painting. Maybe that's her. Oh. A tall woman with long hair and a white kimono was leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. 
And when she saw that the sun was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, so I will let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be forfeit. Boom. Write it down. Fucking owned. Oh. In the morning, the young man found his father frozen and dead. He climbed down the mountain alone and never spoke of the episode. A year later, he met and married a young, beautiful girl. They had children together and were happy, but the night of his father's death still weighed heavily on his mind. One night, after drinking a bit too much to drink, after having a bit too much to drink, the man told his wife about the encounter with the snow woman. That was a mistake. She was furious. You promise not to tell! She screamed, and before his eyes she became the tall woman with the long black hair and the white kimono. If it were not for our children, I would end your life here and now. I will spare you for their sake, but if anything happens to them, you shall pay the price. And with that, she melted into the wind and was gone. Wait, so she turned into a a pretty young girl? Had kids with him just to keep track of him. And then disappeared. Oh, it's like the rain. Sorry, I know you don't like me getting a bit too twitchy. Oh, spin! Where's it going to land? Um. Oh, wow, it spins really fucking slowly. Oh. Uh. Okay. Send. I think that's the equator in um, Latin or something. La Latino. Oh, uh, who's that fella? Hello! Like a, is it a cactuar from cactuar. Final Fantasy? Or, um, you played Animal Crossing. What are the, like, little... <laughs> guys called? Jeffs. Jeffs. I think they're called Jeffs. It's a clay statue with a weird face. And there's a missing... <gasps> oh, the map with the X. I've never seen a map laid out like this. There's a spot marked X on it. Oh, okay. So where's that? Like, I don't know. Japan, isn't it? It's Japan. Oh. Boom. Oh X marks the spot. Oh my god. Oh. Bazinga. It's a small box. Uh, let's get a better look of this on the desk. Hmm. Uh, so what was it? South. West, east, north. What's it? But do you know which symbol is which? Nope. Um. I mean, we haven't found the symbols for west and east. Wait. Uh. Okay. But right. You can figure I already it out. know it. If you know so what north that's is. north. Okay. That's west. That's east. That's south. So we have to find the east. Um. East piece. The East piece. Because North logo, that's North, bam. Fucking... Owned. Fucking okay. puzzle lord over here. No dial tone. We didn't even pick it up. How do you know? <gasps> oh. Uh, have we looked at everything in here? It Maybe, like... I mean, there's the creeping painting. If you look at it again, will you be like, oh my God, it's like the woman from the story. Oh. The record player. There's no record in sight. Oh, we're definitely going to, to play a record later. A woman. There we in go. We recognise it. That's Bam. Good. I like that. Uh, this door's locked from the other side. There's no keyhole. Well, uh, you can open the parcel, so yeah. that's the next thing, I guess. Okay. Um. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I don't. I don't feel good about that. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hello. Okay. Let's. Uh... Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like <laughs> VR. Sure. Choppy choppy. It's an old book. It says. Qu Quidum. Quai Dan. Whatever that means. Quai Dan. So that's the same guy that did the translation of the, uh, the Snow Woman. Boom. Old book. 
Okay, right. So there's fucking spookums. Yeah. Um. Okay, right. Can we go outside? I imagine we're not allowed. There's still a story. I know it. Are you a thing? Hello. Oh, the TV's on. Oh, well, that tapping, what's that all about? Is it like branches on a... Oh, that's I could have weird. Sworn it was off before. Is there a record now? No. The telephone... Man, I really like that lamp. Oh, fuck. oh God. I thought... Um... A banker's lamp. Um, yeah. Sure. Like, I wanted to buy one, but they were like, it was like a hundred pounds or something. Holy it's like, smokes. I don't need that. I don't need a hundred pound lamp. God, I'm really now aware of getting spookumed. Uh, I'm a bit fucking lost now, mate. Maybe this door's open. Do you have any ideas? Detective Simon? You got that book. Can you examine the book? And, um... Oh, can use book... Oh. On shelf? Did you just use it? Oh, no. Old book. Collected documents. Objectives. Uh... Hmm. No. It's not like any, like... I'm thinking that if you use the book somewhere or open the door. <gasps> oh, hello. <laughs> I, th I think we've discovered. Yep. I can't push the book all it's the way back. It's a fucking switch or button or something. Wait, there's something jammed back there. A flat triangle wedge with some foreign writing on it. Da, oh. da, 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 da. But you couldn't see it before. You had to put the book there to discover it. It was the only way. That's... A weird, weird mechanic. There we go. Um, so, boop, boop, north or yeah. south? North. Bam. Oh, that's really. You've got to wear that mask with the lenses in. Oh, does it, are we now going to be able to see fucking ghosts? Well, maybe. It's a weird pair of goggles. Oh, it's horrible. It's really unpleasant. Why did he make it? Well, I guess you're wearing it now. Oh, fuck. There's going to be a fucking super spook, isn't there? Oh! 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 Okay, oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, oh. Who was that? Mm. Was it the professor? 